John Up. I'm a firefighter with Caesars and Volunteer Fire Department. Actually, I'm a lieutenant, year, second year lieutenant. Uh, I've been involved with this company for, as of this July, will be 25 years. The reason I got into the fire company is, well, you know that kid that you run into every now and then, some big event going on, and you're trying to get something done, and you got that kid always oh, following you around, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can I help? Can I, what can I do? Can I do? Yeah, that was me. Got big red trucks, they're cool. What else could you uh, want from that? So I always want to be involved with that. Um, and it's, it's an adrenaline rush, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you run out to the call trying to help people in their worst times. But, uh, no better feeling than that. As far as my most memorable moment, uh, being in here for almost 25 years, there's, there's many of them. Uh, any fatal call I've been on to those days. Yeah. Uh, but uh, on a happier note, I would have to say it would be the one save that I got to do. Um, it was a dog, so, but I'll take it. We got called for a house fire one night. We rolled up and the back of the house got heavy fire on the back of it. Um, neighbors there in the yard, they tell us the people in the house, they're gone, um, they're, they're somewhere else, but they do have this one pet that they have, uh, but they warned us it was a big Rottweiler, it was vicious, attacked everybody, his name was Satan, uh, they usually left him on the front porch, which was enclosed, so we roll up, and the hose crew, they go to the back of the house to work on the fire, and I start looking in the, the front porch, and the window was just opened up just enough. And I look in and this dog's head came up right in front of me. It was the biggest Rottweiler that I've ever seen in my life. And uh, so he just uh, put his nose up on the windowsill. He's just trying to get fresh air. The house was all full of smoke. So I started petting him and he found out he didn't attack me. So I was like, okay, you're all right. So I went around to the door and got inside and the smoke level was about three foot off the ground. And I crawling around trying to find him. He had moved to the far side, back in the corner. So I crawled into the middle room and he crawled over to me. So I'm starting to pet him to see how vicious he was. And uh, fortunately he wasn't. Uh, so he had one of those big body harnesses on. So I got my hand all tucked up in there, got to the door, opened up and I told everybody, I was like, I've got the dog. And you sure? I mean, he's vicious. Like, he's not vicious, he's fine. Opened up the door took a step out, the dog saw all the lights, the commotion, the people, everything going on, and he took off. Well, my hand was still up in the harness and it was not coming loose, so he yanked me off my feet and drag, proceeded to drag me across the front yard in front of everybody. So that's kind of what I'm known for, the, the dog catcher. So, but it was a save, so I'll take it.